What makes New York City pizza so special? Oh my god. To find out, I smuggled New York City tap water over the border and into my kitchen to see if my friends could tell the difference. Ooh, it tastes pizzery. Thank you to Google for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm gonna start off this video by saying I love pizza. I think I start a lot of my videos off by saying I love the thing that I'm talking about. But truly, how can you not love pizza? And apparently, New York City has some of the best pizza in the world. And I wanna know why. Is this just an excuse to go to New York and eat a whole bunch of pizza? Maybe, but it's all for the name of science. So in this video, let's figure out why New York pizza is so good. I think this is gonna be the best research montage ever. Can I just get one slice of cheese pizza, please? Thank you. Want a slice? Can I just get one slice of cheese pizza? One slice of cheese pizza, please? Can I just get one slice of cheese pizza? Made it just in the nick of time to get the last slice. I've already had a bite, and I can say it is good. I tried a lot of pizza places and talked to as many people as I could to figure out why New York pizza is so good. We're at West 4th in New York City, and we're talking about our best pizza spots. This is a thin crust. You're not cutting it with a knife and fork. It's crisp, but it's also chewy. It just gives you a perfect pie. That's what New York is about. One of the best places for food in the world. Come in, you take a slice to go. I'm a New Yorker now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. So I got myself some ice cream because I need a break from pizza while we thank Google for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I'm in New York and I've been trying to find small pizza businesses. And honestly, it's easier to get interviews. But seriously, I like supporting small businesses because you can actually get to know the people that you're buying from. Like female restaurateurs in a traditionally male-dominated field, or store owners who make it clear that everyone is welcome. And if that sounds like something you like too, I've got some good news for you. The team at Google have made it a goal to help people better find businesses they want to support. Here's two of my favorites. In the US, businesses can identify as Black-owned, Latino-owned, and or women-owned, which can make it easier for us to support diverse entrepreneurs. And you can find these badges on Google Maps, search, and shopping. Businesses can also share if they have gender-neutral bathrooms and if they're safe spaces for trans people. I just think that these things are a neat thing to look out for. If you want to learn more about these features and how Google is helping build a world where everyone can belong, visit belonging.google. Thanks again to Google for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna get go get some more pizza and some and some water. Okay, bye. Look at that bad boy. So what about New York pizza? New York is known for pizza and bagels. And you know, you have to use a quality cheese, quality tomatoes. You know, we use very fresh ingredients. You know what you're doing, I guess. As the week went on, I noticed that when I asked people what made New York pizza so special, something kept coming up. Can you hear that? When you bite the slice, you have to hear that. And this, we believe, is in water. The New York City water really does play a huge part. They claim it is the water. The water allows the crust to rise differently. So I'm back from New York. Doesn't feel like I'm back from New York. Same old honking. And I can confirm that New York pizza is delicious. Everyone that I talked to seemed to mention the water. Now, what is this mysterious water bottle, you might ask? I smuggled New York City tap water over the border for the content. More specifically, for the pizza. So I wanted to know, what makes New York City tap water so special? 90% of New York City's tap water actually comes from the Catskill, Delaware watersheds, and that provides notably soft water. For our purposes, water hardness basically refers to the amount of dissolved calcium and magnesium in the water. New York City's can be around 30 milligrams per liter, but Toronto's, where I'm from, is around 117 milligrams per liter. Now, there isn't anything dangerous about this. Both of these are within safe ranges for us to eat and drink. But according to some articles that I found, and basically every Everyone in New York City, the mineral composition can actually change the way that the dough tastes. So I'm gonna make two pizzas. One with my smuggled tap water, and the second tap water from Toronto. And then we're gonna see if we can taste a difference. To make a New York style pizza, you need a thin, crispy crust, tomato sauce, and cheese. Let's start with the dough. The fluffy and chewiness of a pizza crust, and you know those little air pockets under the sauce? That is all caused by gluten in the dough. And gluten is formed when you mix flour and water. And it forms this web that you can kind of manipulate by kneading the dough with 
these pushes and pulls that you see I'm doing here. But another thing that impacts this web is water hardness. Water that's really soft leads to weak gluten development, and then you'll get a dough that's kind of droopy and sticky. Mm. And then if you have water that's too hard, it tightens the gluten and it makes it chewy and kind of rubbery. So apparently New York City tap water is this perfect in-between, which should result in a tender but chewy crust. Okay, so these doughs need to rest. Let's move on to the other parts of the pizza. For the cheese, we're gonna be using some low moisture mozzarella. Some people like to add a little bit of pecorino or parmesan on top. I think it's controversial. I liked it with it. It's gonna be good regardless. We are here to test the dough. I'm gonna make some homemade tomato sauce and it's apparently gotta be slightly sweet. So it is day two and I've got my pizza dough here. It is risen and I've got all my ingredients to assemble this pizza, but I've got some friends because <laughs> Well, hold on. Hey, New York I'm pizza, here for the New we York want the pizza. pizza. This is I too intense. Away I from London. I'm here for the pizza. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Let's make some pizza. Some pizza! Pizza! Look at these doughs. So this is the New York one. <gasps> Toronto water bad. Toronto dough bad. Oh no, this isn't supposed to happen. I'm gonna poke it. Ugh. Oh, this is not what I expected. This is what Tony did. He like put flour on top and then he like pushed out a crust. So much flour. That looks pretty good. That's a big, <laughs> that's a big look. Oh no, it's not gonna be round anymore. Guys, I'm so excited for you to try this sauce. It's actually delicious. This is a gigantic slice of cheese and we're just gonna shrop it on there. Can you describe the odor of the cheese? It smells like cheese to me. Can you describe the odor of the cheese? I can't smell it. Come down here. Oh. <laughs> it smells sad. Sad? Kind of like a foot that's been at some place. Yeah. It's so bland and smells of feet. Well, we're gonna bake it now. <laughs> In a, like a, a pizza oven, it's like 500 to 600 degrees. This is dough number two. This is Toronto dough. It's a little bit harder to stretch. Did you know that New York pizzas are supposed to be 18 inches big? What oven can fit an 18 inch pizza at home? A, a 19 inch oven. I just do that. Boom. <laughs> this looks Jesus so Christ. sad. Ready for the oven. Alrighty. Now we wait. So hungry. She made us watch her make these pizzas for four hours. I have two waters for you. So I just need to figure out which one's New York. Okay, and this is the only thing that's different between the pizzas. Yes. I'm so worried I'm gonna get this wrong. It tastes of water. It tastes of pipes. It's wet. Do I have to guess? Calling it Toronto, New York. I think this is New York water. No! New York, your water is terrible. Toronto water is whack. So we couldn't tell the difference between the way New York water and Toronto water tastes, but what about the pizzas? All right, now I present to you pizza. Okay. You may eat it. On looks alone, I definitely cannot tell the difference between these two pizzas. Um, they could plausibly be two slices from the same pizza. This is firmer. This feels more confident as a pizza. This has some like grit to it. This has some New York grit, you know? It's like, hey, I'm walking here. This is like, oh, sorry, I'll get out of your way. I did not like how this one chewed. Mm. This one definitely chews nicer. I think this is New York pizza. Why? It tastes better. It, no, it tastes pizzery. This is more pizzery and this is more bready. Do I know which one is New York and which one isn't? Absolutely not. But did I enjoy this one more? Absolutely. The one you enjoyed more was the New York pizza. Yeah. Yeah, this this was nicer. With the sauce and the cheese, uh, I couldn't really tell the difference. Alrighty, you ready for pizza? Yes. This one seems greasier. Seems like it absorbed a lot more oil. These are both pizzas. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna test the floppiness. Ooh, look at that. That's a perfect arch. Look at this, uneven. ASMR. Seems bubblier. This crust seems a lot fluffier than this one, which is kind of like flat. Doesn't seem like it's risen as much. It's so cold. It's good. It's so room temperature. The sauce is good. The flavor of the cheese is like so dominant on both of these that I can't get a flavor difference there. We're going to the crust. Need to pull it. Very chewy. This one has higher potential. It feels like a like a premium breadstick, you know? You go to the good Olive Garden. I've never had a New York slice before. Never been to New York. Love the accent. Hate the water. By my knowledge, harder water, which I know that Toronto has, tends to like 
increase the toughness in the dough. So just based off of like the structure of this bread and just like the toughness of eating it. I'm assuming this one is the Toronto one and this is the New York one. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna eat both of these now, goodbye. What are you guys doing back there and giggling? Alrighty, pizza. Throw your pizzas. Based off looks alone. Okay. Which one's which? I made both of them. They look the same. Okay, this one feels softer. I really destroyed this crust. It looks like, oh, looks like an animal came to attack it. They look like exactly the same. You're right, it was cold. Very room temperature. It tastes exactly the same. Okay, Melissa, I have something to admit to you. They are the same pizza. <laughs> they were the same pizza? Pizza. I know which one it is. Oh, you do? Which one? This one is the New York pizza. This one's the Toronto pizza. It's because I recognize the cheese pattern. She's a little freak. Does this taste like New York pizza? No. They both taste good, but none of them taste like New York pizza. I feel like there's so much more than just the water that makes New York pizza what it is. There's the sauce cheese, I guess. The ovens that they cook it in, they're so hot. The recipes that have been passed down and the people who are just out there making pizza every day. What makes a difference is uh, everybody try to do better and better. So if you've got competition, that's what makes things better and better. That's what I, I believe. I think at the end of the day, if you want some New York pizza, you just gotta go there and try it for yourself. Come on, fellow gremlin. <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza.